What's going on everybody? So the artificial island update has gone live and today I'm going to talk about the Ida Cafe event that has gone live as well. So first off, all of this stuff is super fun. I've been really enjoying it. I've been trying to explore artificial island and I'll probably have a video out uh, talking about some things within the artificial island tomorrow. But today we have the Ida Cafe and uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to actually do this event because it might be a little confusing for some people. Um, I know it was for me when I was first looking at this, I was like, uh, I have no idea what to do here. But after looking at it for a little bit and kind of exploring the world, it kind of makes a little bit more sense to me. So first thing you're going to want to look at is your rewards here and obviously what we're getting because this is the motivation for even doing it in the first place. You can see this revenue here. Basically, you get higher revenue by completing the event correctly. Now, the way this works is you have to go ahead and cook certain foods. The higher revenue you acquire, obviously the more rewards you get. And really the goal should be revenue of 800. After that, obviously you don't wanna keep going because you can get some gifts here, some crystals and things like that that are still worthwhile. But specifically, the 800 revenue is going to give you all the relic shards, all of the different uh, joint chips and the red nuclei, which is incredibly, incredibly important. Now, if we look here at uh, the question mark here, it'll tell us every day three customers will arrive. They have different likes and you have to pay attention. And then obviously, if you get their likes correctly, you're going to increase customer satisfaction, get additional revenue. We will earn anywhere between five to 10 points and each customer must be served one dish up to five dishes and the more you meet their needs the more points you acquire so what this means is basically we can acquire up to 50 points per customer per day so that means three customers per day at 150 points assuming you're absolutely capping out well if you do some quick math here you could easily get 1500 points well no, i shouldn't say easily but you can get 1500 points within 10 days if you go ahead and complete it to the maximum capability, which means we have four extra days because this event lasts for 14 days. So we have additional basically 2,100 total points to acquire. So you don't have to be perfect every time. I wouldn't worry about that. And so we're gonna go ahead and just showcase what it's like to go ahead and go through some of the parts. Now that we know how it works, we need to figure out how to actually make the food and get the points that we need. Now there's two things here on the right hand side, limited food and limited menu. The limited food is going to showcase what new ingredients are in the game with the Ida Cafe event. We have apples, wild boar meat, turkey, sesame, sugar cubes, grapes, and salmon. Each one of these is going to be in certain areas. For example, apples can only be found when collecting fallen fruits. So if we were to go around and I believe we're next to some trees over here, I don't know if there are a few fallen fruit on the ground. Uh, looks like not quite. I did pick up a few. Oh, here's a little shiny. So we pick up a fallen fruit. We didn't happen to get one. But if we just swap channels here and maybe get a few other apples around or fallen fruit around here, we might be able to pick up an apple. It's not a 100% chance. So when you explore the world and you start collecting resources, be sure to be on the lookout for resources, things like homey grain, things like boars. Normally you're just like, oh, I already have a ton of those resources, so I don't need them as much. Be sure to pick those up right now because you're going to need them. We just swapped instances and we got some more fallen fruit. You can see there I got an apple. We just go ahead and pick up some more fallen fruit here. Another apple. And we can go and keep doing this all over the place. No apple there. Uh, no apple there. So it's a chance and you definitely want to make sure you have the resources to make sure you can cook whatever you need to. Now that we know what the limited resources are and how to acquire them through the limited uh, ingredients, now we know about the limited menu. The limited menu is going to give you additional things to uh, be able to cook. We have some mysterious ingredients here. I'm not sure which ones these are, but I assume you could go ahead and find these as you start exploring the world. And then of course we have some other things down here with mysterious ingredients and then you have the ones that you already know now the way this works is you're going to want to cook the limited items here that you think the person would want now the way we determine this is by this little text box here underneath the character right now we have cobalt on screen and you can see she says have to think about how to make a machine that cooks in one go nothing too important there i don't know what to do if it's too sweet so it looks like you don't want to put things that are too sweet for her. And then time to test if the inspiration is workable. Um, maybe that has to do with some sort of mysterious recipe type thing that you're gonna wanna put in here. But now that we know we, she doesn't want things too sweet, we can kind of just, yes. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put in things that I already have um, and I'm not even gonna give her a dessert because she doesn't want things that are too sweet. So I don't see a reason for us to put a dessert in here unless we have some sort of non-sweet dessert, fruitcake. Eh, it's not super sweet, but I'm just gonna omit it. 
First off, we're going to go ahead and just make this roast suckling pig here. I have wild boar meat, sugar cubes, honey, and lettuce. So I'm going to go ahead and just make that right now. So if we go ahead and just do the limited cooking here. Oh, looks like we do not have a wild boar meat. I completely missed that one. But we do happen to have uh, some of the turkey. That's what I messed up. I didn't have turkey. So we're going to make this roasted drumstick with veggies. Seems very akin to what cobalt would want. I'm not sure in between those two which one will be better. But we'll go ahead and cook it anyways. Not going to cook the gingerbread because it is sweet. So there's so no reason to go ahead and drop that in. We're going to go ahead and drop this one in though. The main course. Uh, and that is going to be, let me see. Or maybe it's a side dish. Roasted drumstick on a side dish. That's fine. Um, I'll do truffle fried rice. And then we'll do, let's see, snow lotus soup. Or streamed egg with sea urchin. Mm. We'll do the, the purple one. Maybe we get some more points there. No dessert. And then a drink here. We will do nut tea uh, as the least sweet. So we'll go ahead and gift this to her. And see how many points we get. So we got... 25 points so it looks like we missed entirely so this is the tricky part about this the question is do we want a dessert for this one unsure uh maybe if we had a dessert we would have gotten more points but we have a new character right here uh come put the fruits we've got into the stuffing fail at making chocolate um so fruits chocolate that's what we want uh in that case we'll do fruit cake uh we'll have a soup here We'll just do some breakfast cereal and then we'll do fiddled head pie drink. We'll do some nut tea and main course. We'll go ahead and do some crab again. I don't really know what she wants, but we got some extra points. You can see there we got eight bonus points, probably because we put the fruit cake in there again. This isn't a perfect thing, and I don't know if there's a specific method uh, to every single customer in the game. But as you get repeats, you might be able to go ahead and um, get some bonus points because you'll start to learn some people this one chocolate so anything uh control the amount of materials you use to avoid wasting them so she looks like she wants to have very plain dishes is what i'm gonna guess so in that case um we'll just go ahead and do bread <laughs> i'm gonna give her bread uh we'll do some very plain stuff chocolate is a luxury um is what she said have to make desserts for people in the uh, shelter for other materials, how about using something we could find around here? So something maybe found around here. So some of the limited foods, we'll go ahead and just drop again. I'm not going to do a dessert, so maybe I can cancel this. I didn't mean to put a dessert in there. Well, looks like it's too late, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and just do some very plain stuff. Uh, cocoa milk is probably not something that she wants. We'll do nut tea and just drop it in there again. We'll do plain stuff. And it looks like we got a lot of points for that one. So we went from 58 to 96 right there. Um, so we almost got max points. Not quite. We got 38, probably because we did a bunch of plain dishes. And you can see here, I got 100 points almost. And let's say I were to continue on this way, I would be at 14 days with 1400 points if I continued on this specific path. So you do have to make sure you're getting the correct ones. But again, as you start to learn the characters as they come by, you may be able to repeat. Again, keep those tips in mind. The first one we did pretty poorly. I imagine you're going to want to put a dessert in every single time. I didn't put a dessert because I thought she wanted something non-sweet. But maybe there's some non-sweet desserts out there. The second one, we ended up getting a solid one, a little bit of extra points because we did end up putting uh, the fruitcake in there. And then that third one with Bai Ling, we ended up doing really well, I assume, because we could put common dishes in because she wanted things around the area. So there you go. That should help you get some idea on what to do. Again, it's not a perfect science as far as I know. I don't know if anyone out there has the perfect point values. If you do, I'd love to see it in the comment section down below. Regardless, go ahead and look for those limited ingredients out there. Make the limited menu items and then drop them in here based on some tips you receive. Hopefully that helps. I'll be out with another video tomorrow talking about Artificial Island and the home again because I'm going to dive into that. Hopefully complete the map by today and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.